So let's talk about Michelle Obama. I took the time to watch her full DNC speech, and here are some things that jumped out at me. Let's take a look. She and my father didn't aspire to be wealthy. In fact, they were suspicious of folks who took more than they needed. Now, does Michelle Obama need over $100,000 to speak at a venue, at an, at an event? Does Barack Obama need $400,000 to speak at an event? I'm not hating on the public speaking business. Hey, you have the leverage, you have the platform, use it. I do have a problem, though, when people start talking about the rich as if they weren't the wealthy. I wonder what Michelle Obama's mother would have thought about President Trump when he donated his presidential salary because he didn't need it. It would have been taking more than he needed. So he opted not to take it. I wonder what her views would have been on that. They understood that it wasn't enough for their kids to thrive if everyone else around us was drowning. But has Michelle Obama been concerned about the other kids that are not as privileged and blessed as her kids who will partake in generational wealth? As she mentioned in her speech, she mentioned generational wealth. Well, her children will have generational wealth and so will the children of her children and so on. Does she go to these schools and the projects to provide speeches to the teachers taking care of these children and to bless other people's children with her presence and her knowledge? Or do you have to have upwards of $200,000, $300,000 to have Michelle grace you with her presence in one of your school's universities? Not sure. I'm not sure what's going on there. Years. Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. Like the past, I don't know how many years that the Democratic Party has been telling people Trump is a racist, he's a Nazi, and they should be scared of him because he's a threat to democracy. Was Oprah scared of Trump before she was, before he ran for president? Because as, as far as we can tell, she was praising him and loving him and suggesting he ran for president. Suddenly he did, and Trump is not good anymore. He's a threat. He's not a threat. Now we should be afraid, but Oprah wasn't afraid of Trump before. I'm just asking for a friend. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. Miss Obama, Trump is not threatened by you. You know who is threatened by you? The people that see through your speech and recognize socialist tendencies, rhetoric, and propaganda. We feel threatened and we feel afraid that the more power people like you continue to get, the more it becomes normalized to aspire to socialism in the United States. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. As a Cuban immigrant, escaping from socialism, communism, that we'd have powerful figures, part or have been part of our government, highly influential figures pushing for this rhetoric and supporting a candidate that clearly, clearly, has these beliefs as her foundation. Who are ready to question and criticize every move Kamala makes, who are eager to spread those lies, who don't want to vote for a woman, who will continue to prioritize building their wealth over ensuring that everyone has enough. Do you have enough, Michelle? I think that is the main question because obviously, you haven't gotten to a point where you think it's enough for you because you keep hustling and thriving and, and pursuing and writing. And that's great. I applaud that. But that just shows that what you have is not enough yet. 
I don't know however many properties you have. Do you need them? It apparently isn't enough, even though you have more than you need. You've taken more than you need, and it still isn't enough. I want your definition of enough, but who defines what's enough for me? For us down here, who defines what's enough for us? What do you call enough for us? Subsidized government health care, such as Obamacare, is that enough for us? Or living in a home built by the government because they built housing projects for low-income families, is that enough for us? Is food assistance or cash assistance enough for us? Because it certainly isn't enough for you, Ms. Obama. What is enough and who defines what enough is for each person? Again, if enough means being worth $70 million like you, I'll take enough. But it turns out that's not how you guys up there define enough for us over here. You define enough for us as the bare minimum that we have to, of course, bleed through our taxes. See, I don't have a problem with people that make a lot of money. I have an asterisk and I'm suspicious of politicians who become millionaires after they've entered politics. You know, it's interesting that they enter a life of public service and suddenly, oh, they have more than they need. Wow. What, what a thing. What a beautiful thing. Don't have a problem with people that have a lot of money. I think that it's wonderful. You can make your money. And if you can make your money, money speaking, that's amazing. Or however it is that you make your money in a legal way, that's awesome. The Hey, more power to you. You know what I have a problem with? is these people that have all this money and tell you that people with all this money are the problem. It's millionaires telling you, tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich, but they're the rich. It's millionaires telling you tax the rich when what they really mean is tax those of you that have a little more than the rest of the bottom and we're going to distribute between y'all. We're not going to distribute our wealth. Oh, not our wealth. No, sir. You're going to distribute y'all little things between y'all down there. But that should be enough for you because we define as a government who gets what and what should be enough for who. Let us lead and define what enough is for us because we're not going to distribute our wealth and we're not going to put our children's generational wealth at risk. Whoever falls for this without really asking questions, people are there clapping. People are there clapping. Yes, Michelle, yes. Have you ever paused just to wonder? Have you ever asked yourself why you buy what comes out of these people's mouths? Just wondering.